What's up guys? It's been a long time since my last video. I'm sorry I don't make them like I used to. It's hard when you're busy. Actually recently just got a full-time job. Graduated college so uh, time is scarce. But anyway, uh, I've got my 2012 PC here and I decided, you know, it's about six years since I originally built it. Actually about six years on the dot within a couple days. And I figured I would make a little bit of an update because I've been using this thing for six whole years. And a lot of people I feel like don't necessarily do that. And I was just thinking, you know, Am I going to build a new one pretty soon, or am I just going to keep up upgrading this one? So this video is going to address that. So I kind of got two pieces here. I've got a part where I'm going to cover what updates I've given it in the past six years, and as well as uh, moving forward to what I'm going to do in the future. So I'll start off just for general specs to remind all of you. I've made a bajillion videos on this PC. I've milked it like crazy, but just to go over the specs again. I've got an i7-3820. That's a 3.6 gigahertz quad-core hyper-threaded. 16 gigs of DDR3 quad channel, 1600 megahertz. That's G scale Aries. And then a couple of 780 3GB EVGA cards. They're not the 780 Ti, they're the 780s. A little Wi Fi card, mention that for the heck of it. Uh, right now I've got a 280 gig Crucial MX300 in here, and a couple of 1 terabyte Seagate hard disks in a RAID 0. Yes, I like to live dangerously. Um, so to start off, really what I've upgraded in the past six years, CPU is exact same, memory is exact same, but the SSD. Originally, you know, back in 2012, SSDs were just becoming a thing, and I bought a 64 gig SSD, uh, which, tiny, right? And uh, I, I, I still have it around somewhere, I think. It's a crucial M4. It's slow as hell. It's basically useless because it's so small, but I originally upgraded, I want to say, in the late 2013 to a 240 gig SSD, Recently, I upgraded to 280 because my girlfriend's computer really needed an SSD, and I figured, okay, why not just buy a new one? You know, give myself the new one, give her the hand me down, yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Um, but actually, just after I bought this for about 90 bucks, they came out with the MX500 series, and now you can get a 500 gig for 115 bucks, whereas I bought a 280 for 90 or so. But whatever, I needed, the, I needed, the, I needed the upgrade at the time, so it was worth it. And that, that gives me about five or 600 megabytes a second read, right? Not as good as NVMe, but that's overkill anyway, so I'm happy. Um, that RAID 0. Originally, I only had one hard disk in there. And I bought a second one and put them in a RAID, because again, I love to live dangerously, right? But I don't have any crucial data on here. It's just Steam downloads. I could re-download if, you know, everything just exploded. Um, and one of the hard drives did actually fail on me about three, almost three and a half years ago now. Yeah, it, I think one of the hard drives went bad. Um, didn't die though, I saw it coming, so I replaced it and didn't lose any data. Again, non-crucial stuff, so I'm really not worried about it. Now when I originally built this machine, we put, we, my brother and I, put uh, a couple of 560s, like, you know, MSI GTX 560s in this, and everyone was asking us, why would you do that? Because they're 1 gig GPUs, even in 2012, one gig SLI was not anything super impressive. And uh, that was temporary until we bought a 680, which was a 2 gigabyte. It worked pretty well. I actually bought a second 680, so I had a 680 SLI for a little while. But man, those things with the one stupid turbine fan on them, they just overheat like crazy. So I ended up just getting rid of those and getting a 780. Um, that was probably five years ago, and somewhere around mid-2013, if I remember correctly. And it served me well. It's a 3 gig GPU, like I said. Nothing wrong with it, but um, about three years ago, a little over three years ago, in maybe April or May of 2015, I got a second one to SLI. Yes, I'm using a crummy SLI bridge, but I really don't think it matters. Uh, unless it does, at which, point, at which point, please do inform me. But they're just not really pulling their weight anymore. I mean, the TDP between these two things combined is 500 watts, which is just an insane amount of electricity. And uh, the, the new titles and everything, I don't game a whole lot, but when I do, you know, I like to have something that can really kind of check out some FPS. So a couple of 780s are just not really doing it for me anymore. I can do BF1 at like medium settings, okay FPS, and uh, I think it's about time for an upgrade. So at some point I will be selling those. Now the PSU is a uh, kilowatt actually because I apparently wanted overkill six years ago. And uh, I flipped it a few times. Originally it was like this because I wanted to see the LEDs. Then I decided, what the hell am I doing? And I flipped it the other way, because I do have an air, a filter in the bottom and everything, and I figured it would be a good idea to pull in some cold air, because I was on hardwood at the time. Now, I'm on a carpet in my apartment here, so I don't want to pull in dusty carpet air, so I flip it again. 
just to uh, just to make it happy. I mean, sure, it's pulling in hot air from the inside of the case, but it's better than dusty carpet air. Um, and unfortunately, these cables are coming out farther away from the edge of the case, so now this big cable doesn't have enough length to be routed behind the uh, the panel there, so it's really messy. But whatever. And uh, that's about it for you know what I've upgraded. I mean, like I said, same CPU, same RAM. Really, only upgrades to SSD, hard disks, and um, GPUs, as, as well as adding this uh, wireless card. I moved into my previous apartment a couple of years ago, which I really haven't used a whole lot because I just decided running Ethernet's a way better idea. But at any rate, so moving forwards into the future, um, I'm definitely going to upgrade the GPUs, like I said. And oh man, don't go, don't get me started on this because the, the new video cards nowadays, as I'm sure you all know, are just. Crypto mining has just ruined the prices. I mean, we're talking two times MSRP for a lot of this stuff, and it's just basically price gouging. I'm still kicking myself for not buying like a 1060 two years ago for 250 bucks or whatever it was. Now they're over 400 two years later. But uh, it is what it is. Haven't upgraded. Definitely want to. Waiting for the new 1100 series, if that's what they're going to call them. Um, and, I, and I'm basically basically just going to suck up the fact that they're going to be expensive. Um, but I'm not going to get like an 1180 or what have you. Probably just an 1160, nice middle of the road, something that can play the latest titles pretty damn well, but not spending six or seven or eight or nine hundred dollars on a GPU. So, um, probably looking to spend 400 bucks max on a new GPU when that becomes an option. Now for the CPU, I did some research the other day. I figured out this motherboard does support up to Ivy Bridge E, or at least the uh, the X79 chipset does. And this is the Sandy Bridge E, which came out in early 2012, and the Ivy Bridge E came out in mid-2013, so it's about, you know, a little less than a year and a half newer. So about five years old for the Ivy Bridge. And um, that's a six-core, 12 thread, so it's definitely an upgrade. I get four more threads, two more cores out of that. Frequency is about the same, um, and you can actually get them for about 100 bucks on, on eBay for a good deal, so... I'm actually thinking of upgrading my CPU because, you know, it hasn't been flatlined at 100 or anything, but I have noticed it getting up there a little bit. And uh, especially, I've been converting, you know, 10,000 of my old photos and videos to to my, my NAS photo storage, and that just, the CPU just doesn't check through as best as it could. So maybe I'll upgrade the CPU as well. Um, and especially with all these new games coming out, you know, like, you know, Elder Scrolls 6, Elder Scrolls 6 which I'm hugely uh, excited for. And, you know, new Battlefield and Metro and everything. It'd be good to have a machine that can do all that. Um, and I was considering getting, getting an NVMe SSD for this thing, like an M.2. Of course, you need an adapter because it doesn't have an M.2 slot. But um, but I did some research and found that the motherboard does not support NVMe bootable disks. And I'm not getting an NVMe SSD I'm using it as, you know, a secondary disk. Because they, they, those things can read, like, 2 gigabytes a second. And there's no, there's no way I'm spending a ton of money on something like that just to use it as like a secondary disk. So new PC if I if I build one soon, definitely using as a boot disk. Maybe even rating them because overkill, but besides that, probably not. So overall, am I gonna upgrade to a, a, a completely new PC? No I'm not. I'm just gonna keep upgrading this thing because there's really no reason to to drop, you know, fifteen hundred dollars on a new PC, especially considering the fact that components aren't all that cheap. Uh, I think CPUs are pretty cheap in my opinion, especially because AMD came back into the playing field a year or so ago, but uh, you know, especially RAM and all that. There's really no reason to drop a bunch of money on the machine. I'll keep upgrading my graphics card. I mean, think about it. With a 6-core 12-thread Ivy Bridge E and like a new 1160, this machine will have plenty of life left in it. 1600 megahertz RAM, SSD, RAID, RAID array, 6 cores, probably, a, I don't know, 8 gig graphics card or something. That'll be perfectly fine. So when I do build a new machine in a year or two, I'll definitely make sure to make a video on it, as I'm sure you all would love to see. But until then, I'm sticking with this guy. So uh, that's all I got for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope it was uh, kind of cool anyway.